and greetings. Hey Phoenix, how are you my friend? Life is good. Let's see. Ah, uh, all right, so that's interesting. I don't really hear myself all that well, but I my levels are good, so you're obviously hearing me. I think OBS is just being weird. So yes, hello cat, and of course I just got my water for stream, and what does my cat do? Comes right up and starts drinking it. <laughs> yeah, it's the beautiful part about levels. You could always just go in there and you could kind of get a, Cleo, what are you, oh my god, cat, what are you, and the screen's shaking because she's moving everything. Oh yeah, just drink more of my water, cat, it's it's totally cool. So it's nice to know that my, my uh, stream today has already begun in a world of complete and utter chaos. So uh, yeah, this is, this is awesome. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if I, is that, ah, uh, that's what I did, okay. <laughs> Never mind. now I hear myself just fine. I, uh, I muted my own microphones. Um, but anyway, so yes, greetings everybody with a little, with a little ado. <laughs> I'm going to blame this on my cat. She is, uh, she just has a knack for causing all sorts of trouble. And now I have no water because she just stuck her head in it. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yep. That's, that's cool. Show everybody your butt cat. That's, that's, that's a cat. So greetings. We're going to be playing some fallout once I'm done uh, with my, the distraction of my feline co-host has, has decided to say hello to everybody at the very start of our stream today. Oh, you're, you're coming back. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. Why don't you actually just come over here and get, get a pet. Yes. Be a good girl. You just had water, but sure. Go, go for more of it. Cause you know, you think uh, just because I moved it, there's something in there you didn't have before. That's, that's totally cool. Oh my goodness. So yes, greetings from a very rainy, chaotic South Florida. <laughs> my goodness. But yes, uh, at least from our area, we got a lot of rain. It looks like it's just going to rain all week. And before I really get started here, let's uh, get started with a little bit of a recap. And yes, okay. See a cat. <laughs> She'll be back, I'm sure. And uh, so, yes, last time we did some uh, various side questing around the Commonwealth. We managed to max out Deacon's Affinity. We completed what I affectionately, uh, affectionately call the Blade Runner mission, where we uh, cleared out Covenant and uh, their little operation where they would torture synths and expose them to a, uh, to a psychological exam, essentially like kind of like what, um, what ha happens in Blade Runners with the replicants. And uh, they revealed, they, they actually figured out that there was something with the synth programming where when you put them under stress and you ask them what position they're, they play on a baseball team, they always reply with the same answer. And uh, funny enough, that answer is not available to you <laughs> when you uh, go and take that same test. So hence why you're able to get into Covenant and uh, nobody really gives you any, any grief. But in any event... So we did that. Deacon, uh, we maxed out our affinity with Deacon. We did the uh, uh, one quest for the DIY, DIY cache, and we managed to snag ourselves some Ballistic Weave. And so we just need to kept, get a couple more levels to the point where we can, because we only have so much Ballistic Fiber. So it doesn't make sense to make Ballistic Weave yet. It makes more sense just to get a, a rank or two of science so that we can get at least a moderate Ballistic Weave on there. And we'll make ourselves a nice little outfit. But in the meantime, the plan for today will be to go to the combat zone, get a new companion, and then we're actually going to find the main quest. I know, it's going to be freaking amazing. <laughs> so, Nade, greetings. Welcome to the stream now that I finally got the uh, recap, or recat, as it were, out of the way. Oi, oi, oi. Let's see, let's go to in-game. How is your week going, my good friend? As things get fired up here. Yes, it wasn't a particularly good one, but it was there. In my in my own defense, I'm not in the right frame of mind. <laughs> it's Cleo's fault. We're gonna blame this on Cleo. She's just a walking catastrophe. I'm guessing you didn't even catch that one. That was actually a little more clever than the first one.
And of course, I have a mod that changes all of the magazines. So these are not vanilla artwork. But I don't have anything too crazy in there. So yes, all of the dead bodies and uh, all this crazy shit. So yeah, that's going to be my plan. Unless I have forgotten about any other... Okay, we do need to go to a dead drop. Let's see where this is. Okay, we may as well keep that dead drop active. Because we're right here, so what we'll do is we'll just cruise down. We'll at least get the dead drop. And um, we do need to set up a Mila at some point. We also do need to travel to Finch Farm at some point. Oh, you know what? Let's take a level here. And let's take one of those levels of science now. Perfect. So now we only need to grab another level. Okay, so we could go over this way for Finch Farm. You know what? We are going to do that. We're going to go to Finch Farm. And there's a, there's a rationale behind all this. Because what I want to do... We already have a quest to go to um, to go to Wilson Atomatoys, though I don't remember exactly why. But for one of the things that that location is good for, I want to talk to somebody, an NPC, up at the slog so that we have a good reason also to go there. I'll grab that. I think that's Quartermastery, if I remember correctly. I'm going to guess it's Quartermastery. Yep, it's Quarter Mastery. <sighs> I do love adventuring with dog meat. Oh, we already got Deezer's Lemonade out of that. Perfect. Can I get into that? Let's see if I can get into that. Also, how am I doing on ammo? I'm still doing okay on ammo. Ooh, let's pick this lock. Ooh, where we go? Oh, so close. A little bit more, maybe? There we are. Perfect. Nice. Excellent. Now the question is, what was in here? Was there anything worth it? Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, we'll take military fatigues. Uh, and you know what? While we're in the area, I think we also did... Yeah, we did get Taffington Boathouse. Hmm. Okay, we're this close. Let's go to Taffington Boathouse. And what we'll do is we'll connect that to, okay, never mind. Don't mean to make you nervous, but I don't think we're alone. That guy's dead. We got fun time incoming. Damn. Blood pumping. Second too late. Before I met you, I'd go home. <laughs> nice pair of headshots there. Let's go pick up our mini nuke. Uh, oh, we did need that too. Yeah, you know what? We'll we'll take that, and I'll explain why. We're so close to Taffington Boathouse that anything we pick up around here, we'll be able to just jump into the workshop there. So let's do that. There's our mini nuke. Okay, what else we got? Radioactive gland, boat fly gland. Yep, we'll take that. I don't think there's anything else around this area. Don't oh, watch. for fuck's sakes. Stupid ass. Bastard. Oh. I didn't even see them, but because of where the lasers were coming from, I could hone in on them. Particularly, just a couple of fusion cores and a synth component. All right, this will do. So now we'll go. Ugh, did I just trap myself? Okay, now let's get out of that. Now let's... It's actually an unmarked area. We could explore that really fast too. I don't know if I want to get too sidetracked here. In fact, I let's not get too sidetracked. 
Let's just drop this shit off. We'll send a provisioner up to Green Top Nursery so we can generally secure this area. Put up some defenses. And they'll be fine. We don't exactly need to build this up a lot. Stuff all that in there. Excellent. Dog meat, you don't need to... Uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm sure there's something up there, buddy. There we go. Supply line. Green top nursery. Perfect. Good. You were about to talk to me. We okay. don't need that. I just wanted to introduce myself. It's not exactly paradise, but what is, right? With some hard work, I think... Didn't do it fast enough. ...be a decent place to live. So, is there anything you need me to get started on? I already told you, but that's all right. <laughs> not right now. Thanks. All right, just let me know. Yeah, sure. I think there's actually a safe around here somewhere. Sure, we'll pick that up. But I could be mistaken. Okay. But now we're all connected. You've got water. Perfect. Let's see. You have no food. Let's solve that problem. Solve that problem real quick. Come on. Ugh. In the ass. That should be plenty. For these guys. Now, where's this other settler? There's only so many places for settlers to be. There you are. Okay. There we go. Good. Now the settlement's going to be nice and happy. Let's give them some defenses. Nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Scrap that. Okay. Now, depending on how I'm doing things, I could turn this into a water farm, considering the right along the river. It ends up making for a really good water farm, but I'm rarely here, and so I'm not inclined to turn this into anything where I'm going to want to come back to at any kind of frequency, then then sell. Tell her to get cleaning up those mad mole rat burrows, right, Ghosty? Greetings, my friend. How are you? How's your week going? We're just gonna do one of these. This one of the one of my one of Seraph's. Uh, we'll do do a Seraph special turret tower. Nothing too crazy, but enough where I shouldn't have to worry about this settlement. And if I do get close by, I could just come over here, drop shit off, and we're good. Uh, all right. So, you know what? Before we... Oh, shit. <sighs> right. Right, right, right. Right. Quite right. Okay. Go to the dead drop. Okay. Let's go to the dead drop. I forgot. There actually is something important. Let's get our next companion first. Because we want to spend as much time with uh, with our new companion as possible. I want a mod that makes the turrets sound like the ones in Portal. There is a mod that does that. Now, I don't know if it's still on... Um, I don't know if it's still on Nexus mods. But there uh, but there was a mod that would do that. I did I did see that at one point. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty awesome. For me, it was a little immersion breaking. But, um, but yeah, that, that does exist. It's amazing how many mods people have come up with uh, that, are, that are out there. And because we deactivated all the traps, we don't have to worry about this bridge blowing up on us. And boy, does this bridge go up like the 4th of July if you don't disable the traps. I don't like to run in this general area. Oh, God. Motherfucker.
Okay. So that just fucking happened. Where are you, buddy? There you go. You're all right, boy. Good boy. My dog. Bunch of assholes. Shot my fucking dog. We were just walking along the street, too. It's not like we even picked that fight. Wasn't really anything we could do about it. Wrong place, wrong time. Okay, someday. Uh, how you doing, broski? I'm doing good. Doing good. Had a, uh... I, uh, sort of hosted a training for, uh... Yeah, these fucking robots came back for these assholes, I guess. I didn't have enough. Oh, I didn't want to take that mod, but oh well. Fine. Um, so that went well. Now let's turn that off. Uh... We'll take the alarm clock. Oh, we'll definitely take the Mr. Handy Fuel shit. How did I not scavenge this shit before? I must have been totally distracted with uh, getting Ava. No addictive properties. This statement sponsored by Permacure. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, this... Alright, so... Debating what the best route through all of this is. Oh shit! It's fighting time. Tell your friends you, you got it. Bastard. Good job, Deacon. Any more assholes coming out of that church? Okay, good. Let's get this one. All right. Let's uh. Let's head this way. We'll go along the road this way. No assholes this way. All right. Now, Alpha, yeah, that's the Cambridge Crater. So, fun story, when Sarah first played this game, I was trying to get to Diamond City, and I thought going this way would be a good idea. It was, it was not. That was a, that was a terrible, terrible idea. In fact, you know what, let's just, let's just save and, uh, no, let's just not stay. Let's not even go near that. <laughs> let's not even go near that. So, uh, yeah, the Cambridge Crater is right here. It's where one of the nukes went off. It wasn't one of the big nuclear bombs. It was one of the smaller nuclear missiles launched into the Boston area. And so, uh, it detonated a little close to the ground, causing a crater. It's fun fact, when... Generally, nuclear weapons go off. Uh, they don't go off very close to the ground. You actually get more... You get much more damage by uh, what's called an airburst. And so what you want is... Uh, oh, here's a minute, man. They're going to get caught in that raider fight in a second, I think. Um, and so, you know, typical of uh, weapons designers and all that. Some crazy motherfucker at some point did the math... And was like, you know, it does more damage if it's up in the sky. And then you get two shock waves going back to back. So anyway, uh, that's why, generally speaking, when you have well-researched movies, you'll see um, a nuclear explosion go off very high up in the sky. And you won't get a crater. But interestingly enough, it's also why at, uh, at Hiroshima, the structure that was right below the, the nuclear bomb that went off there... Which, um, which I think was Fat Man. Um, I don't think that was Little Boy. Maybe that was Little Boy. That actually, you know what? I think that was Little Boy. Then I'm thinking about it. Um, that structure is still there because it was it was just a dead on thing, and the shockwave didn't. It was just straight on, so the walls really didn't um, take a lot of what would normally have blown them over. It's uh, it's very it's very inter it's 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 eerie. It is, uh, it's very eerie to see pictures of it. Of course, nobody that was inside that building survived, but the building itself did. Got it. Um, so yeah, in Fallout, there are craters, because apparently nobody did the math in, uh, in universe, and so, uh, all the nuclear bombs go off too close to the ground. That's just a brick. 
And so you get and with little craters here, there, and everywhere where they go where they go off. Okay, nothing there. Oh, I want no part of this shit. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna go up this way. Yeah, that's a raider. That's a raider site. I think if we're over here though, we should be okay. okay I'm trying to kind of skirt this. Okay, good. Yeah, we already went in there. Explored that area. Yeah, in fact, there's a raider standing guard over there. Do, 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 do. We're just, don't mind me. I'm just gonna head over here. Greetings. Well, thank you for the follow. Elto, uh, Eltom is, yeah, I don't, I, <laughs> greetings. Sorry, I don't know how to say your username. Uh, but greetings. Welcome to the stream. We're playing Fallout. Feel free to chat or lurk to your heart's content. We're friendly. Uh, <laughs> I enjoy Nade. Uh, enjoy Final Fantasy uh, 14. Uh, I appreciate the lurk. If you're playing with Chris, tell him I said hello. I'm going to drink some, I'm going to eat some food here. Let's see. Yep. One on a stick. That sounds like a great plan. Actually, it's going to take some mutant hound chops too while we're at it. That'll take care of some of those rads. Ah, use it in mostly in Spanish. So fun fact, I failed Spanish like eight times in college. Uh, I do know uh, pequeño español because, you know, when you take it that many times, you, you eventually absorb some of it. <laughs> it's a beautiful language. Um, but yeah, I, I always struggled with picking up other languages. And despite the amount of anime I watch, I, I've picked up extremely little Japanese as well. So, uh, but yeah, if you want to troll me, feel free to say things in Spanish and I will comically probably not get it. <laughs> but I do appreciate learning. And so it's always nice to have uh, uh, a nice little learning experience. The only thing that I've really grasped very well was uh, Tengo un bien día. Figured if I was going to learn something in Spanish, it should be something nice and pleasant. <laughs> oh, nice. Greetings. Yeah, I could use all the help I can get. Although everybody always told me I should go to a country like Costa Rica or Spain or, um, you know, uh, or any kind of native place and really do the deep immersion route. Because uh, generally what's taught in the uh, college curriculum is a manner called uh, grammar translation. And clearly Seraph does not respond well to that at all. <laughs> oh, my accent's pretty good. Excellent. No, I appreciate that. I figured out how to roll the R's uh, pretty easy. Which works when I'm, you know, trying to purr at my cat. Although she just tilts her head and is like, really, human? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, anytime I ever need to actually speak uh, in class, I, from what I understand, uh, I always did a decent job of at least pronouncing correctly. So, um, what am I doing? Oh, right. Find Agent Blackbird. Okay. We're not going to do that in just net, but we can, uh, but now we have that quest. It's logged. Let's go grab our next companion. So do you play Fallout, my friend? We're going to, we're going to play the, we're going to, we're doing a complete playthrough, or at least that's my hope, my ambition is to do a complete playthrough of this. As we walk through one of the main thoroughfares, or main avenues of the Boston Ruins. How great. Started. I'll find you. We get in here. I really didn't even want to fight these assholes. Let's go. Damn it. Can't get a good shot. Oh, I can't get in there. Here we go. Oh, we got a legendary. Great. Of course we have a legendary. Come on, fall. Fall. You're not going to fall. You're going to have a legendary item and you're not even going to fall. All right, fine. I guess we're going in there to kill these guys. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, I recommend you go to Argentina or Spain because they have pretty good Spanish. Not to Chile because <laughs> it's pretty weird. <laughs> I have heard so many wonderful things about Argentina. I actually played uh, an, RP an online uh, RPG uh, once upon a time. Um, of course, now the 
the username is escaping me. Uh, but he was in um, Buenos Aires. He was super friendly. That probably would be the way to go. Although if you tell me you ended up you uh you played uh, a Macross 7 game once upon a time, I'd be like, holy crap, small world. Okay, here we go. Here's our legendary item. An electrified Chinese officer sword. Nice. Okay. Whoops. Now if I could just escape. Perfect. Okay. Fortunately, not too many. And we have an ad starting in a minute. So bear bear with me. I'm just gonna continue on our way to the combat zone. Well, uh, I'll I'll see you guys when you get back. Let's see. I don't think there's anything too crazy going on here. We're just going down the ruins. There might be a pack of wild dogs. They're fairly common in this part of the ruins. Ah, I know what that building is. <laughs> it's an unmarked location. There's nothing especially special in there. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I really don't want to fight you guys. Come on. Avoid that. Ugh. I think we avoided it. Perfect. There we go. We're back to the common. So what we want to do, we're going to go south of the common. Yeah, I imagine Spain would be way more safe. I think they're in a com an ad break. I'm going to say that again in a second, but... Um, all right. The main thing is I'm trying to find combat zone, which should be, if memory serves, right over here. Because that's a super mutant. Combat zone. Oh, nope. It's... I'm right on top of it. Right. I don't see anybody. Did we already kill these guys? Nope, they're all over the place. That should be all of them. <laughs> okay. Let's get our loot. Nope, we got more. Completely <sighs> vaporized their head. Anything over here? Okay. Nope. No. Nope. Right. Very good. Nothing up there. Let's cruise over here. Probably just 38 ammo. Most of these raiders just have pipe weapons. Oh, you had shotgun shells. Ooh, you had 10 millimeter. We will Used definitely take that. Used to be gladiators bashed each other's skulls in here. Now it's full of raiders, so no change. <laughs> All right, so that ad should be over at this point. Yeah, Spain, I'm sure, is way more safe. Um, but, uh, do, 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 do. you'll be careful because Argentina has some really dangerous places. Yeah, I mean, th that's true for just about anywhere, right? I mean, for the most part, like Ireland is a, is a great, was, it was a great place to visit, but even some of the locals said, yeah, yeah, feel free to hang out in like these tourist areas. Do not go all across the river. <laughs> they were very clear uh, that that you were taking your life in your hands uh, across whatever creek or stream it was, a river. Um, and of course, I'm for completely forgetting the touristy neighborhood up there. But um, but yeah, that's part of the course for just about everywhere. I'm pre-intermediate, which is a uh, low English level. I mean, you're you're in an English speaking stream. I I think you're doing pretty good. <laughs> Uh, I was an English major, so it, which is even more hilarious. I have a linguistics background, right? And I can't figure out another language to save my life. I literally studied language syntax. <laughs> and yet, learning other languages has been such, such a challenge. But I'm happy to help. Uh, I'm happy to help as well. I'm always, I'm always down for talking English or, or Spanish. Yeah, it's a great learning environment. Like kind of like what um, my uh, so I work at a university, and a lot of the faculty were the ones that were saying you should you should go get immersion, because immersion is what works. So let's hack this terminal. Let's see what do we got. Okay, well it's not that. Okay, there's one thing in common there. 
Well, just for the kicks and giggles of it here, let's try to... There we go. Let's get rid of a dud. Get... Okay, yeah, let's try... Our, let's get our tries reset here. And, uh... Okay, that was the correct one. Okay, security door. Let's open this door. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people um, actually know some of the tr intricacies of the hacking minigame and that you could remove duds and reset your tries. Um, yeah, I don't know why learning languages is, is, is so difficult either. Um, and, and I've, I've always struggled with that. And I would take in Spanish. So I lived in Miami, right? There was a point where I think half my day was having Spanish spoken to me and I still, I still didn't get it. It's, it's, it's bonkers to me. Um, I want to learn French. But, uh, but it's way too difficult. Yeah, so so Phoenix Nade, uh, who just went to play Final Fantasy XIV, uh, he speaks a little French. Um, he, he told me a couple of funny things you could say, uh, such as, J'ai tout fini, which is, I will end you. <laughs> um, oh, and he's also the one that taught me uh, Voy a Matarte in, uh, in Spanish. So, yeah, just moved to L.A. You'll Spanish pronto. So, yeah, I mean, I could also go to Miami and hang out on Calle Ocho, and, uh, for, for, you know, and, and that'll be like an immersion environment too. Right. Um, yeah, it's funny how I live like basically, uh, an hour North of Miami and we have such a, a high Spanish speaking area in my area. And yet I've, I've always had a hard time, uh, learning Spanish. Um, I don't I mean, I've always had a hard time learning any language, but, uh, yeah, that's what I should, you know, I should just try that. You know, maybe, a, maybe, maybe a little bit of a different scenery will do me some good. That's what I need to do. I need to go where I don't even have the option to learn English. Maybe I'll hang out with you, Ghosty, for like two weeks. And, uh... Buzz off. I love how these... I didn't have the caps, so they throw me in here. I love how these raiders talk shit to you. It's like, you guys don't really have a lot of options here, but, you know, whatever. So let's go in here, and let's get our next companion. And we'll see what she looks like. I'm actually very curious to see what she looks like. Supposed to be in here? Rip her to shreds. Oh. I heard something. Yeah, Deacon. All the raiders started shooting at us, man. There you are. Okay. Boy, do we have a lot of raiders to fight. Whoa, I just dodged that by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> I mean, all languages are, are fairly difficult to learn. I would actually say Spanish really should be fairly easy to learn for an English speaker because there are so many cognates. So the vocabulary should be fairly, um, uh, the sheer number of cognates. Not anymore, at least. Oh, just peek your head up. Damn cowards. The heck with that. <laughs> I'm too pretty to go out like this. I love these their their conversation here. Ah, oh, Kate's looking pretty good here. Over. Well, I could have gone worse. <laughs> I dunno. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Was still winning the fight, wasn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. What is this place? Not from around here, huh? This is the combat zone. Finest arena in the Commonwealth. Kate, here's the headline. A hundred plus matches undefeated. We used to serve a more legit clientele. But about two years ago, a gang of raiders rolled in, and we became a more exclusive establishment. Up until you took our entire client base out of the gene pool and put us out of business, that is. I'm sorry. It just seemed like you guys might be in trouble. Trouble? Nah. But keeping those idiots entertained was what kept the lights on. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do now. To hell with them! Moral come! Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. Oh, breather? What? 
so you can slam more of that junk into your arm now. Now, you know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? She's clearly talented. See? At least someone knows skill when they see it. It ain't your fighting skills I'm concerned with. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me and her. <laughs> I love the reaction. Like, me and her? <laughs> uh, but never played a single player. Ah, Yeah, I mean, so I haven't actually given Fallout 76 a try myself. And I'm a firm believer in actually playing games myself and, and really trying them. But yeah, I haven't exactly heard the greatest things about 76. I, my suspicion, just looking at the big picture... I think Fallout 76 was intended originally as a multiplayer component with, for Fallout 4. I, I think if, if that hypothesis is correct, it would explain a lot about the end product. Um, yeah, that that's pretty that's pretty similar to, to what I've heard. Although I've heard it so much better now than it was when it first released. So at some point it would be it would be fun to give it a whirl, but I, it's you know like any other multiplayer game, it's like eh, I probably should find people to play it with before before giving it a gander. But yeah, I've played the ever living heck out of Fallout Four. So yeah, this, this is the middle of a of a full playthrough where I try to do as much in one single playthrough as possible. Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? Look. Truth is, all that junk, it's been making you careless. And I don't want to be the one doing color commentary when you finally hit the floor. All right? So just do me this favor. Both of you. Please. Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminator's fee. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you going to do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Now get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy? You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. The cage fighting. You're not my Bless you, dog meat. Okay, I don't see anything to get over there. Perfect, so we're gonna go get Kate here. As soon as she quits walking. Oh my goodness, Kate. Hey, Kate. So, you're ready to head out? Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. And here she is, the one, the only, Kate! <laughs> is that how they used to do it in the combat zone? I'd be glad to show you how we did things in the combat zone, Deacon. Name the time and the place. <laughs> so we're going to send Deacon to Sanctuary. Perfect. So we got him maxed out. Now we can start working on Kate. That is amazing if you didn't find a single bug. Uh, just a few minor ones. Yeah, that's honestly not too bad for a Bethesda game. I mean, that's why the unofficial uh, patches are so important. Yes. Let's grab picket fences. Ah, now we can do extras of these. Uh, nah, it's probably too heavy. We'll take the pre-war money. Sure, we'll take that. Let's see, what else is useful? Ooh, camera, that's always good. Salvage. Ooh, that's a noodle cup. Noodle cups are awesome. We're also gonna take all that. Uh, don't need the ceramic bowl. Yeah, we'll take the beer bottle, why not? But, uh, okay, yeah, we'll also take that hot plate go with that so very early on no, the plates are too heavy yeah it's the ceramic yes it's ceramic but they weigh like a pound it's a nice pile of uh, noodle cups noodle cups rule 
Nice, light, easy food. How can you beat ramen? Okay. Cruise up here. We'll find a uh, locked container. And Kate will mention that she can pick it. Let's uh, move this out of the way. I can actually get back here. Kate's not going to mention that she can pick this lock. Let me know if you want me to help with that lock. Or any lock for that matter. Getting into places I'm not wanted is a talent I've acquired over the years. There it goes. We'll pick up these. One of the nice things about this, we once again have a companion. Assuming I don't break the bobby pin. Uh, I'm going the wrong direction, that's why. Sweet. Oh, Deacon does like it when you pick locks. I didn't think Deacon liked when you pick lock picked locks, but I guess he does. But cool, but Kate does like when you pick locks. That makes our lives easier. We're going to be able to level up her affinity pretty fast, and we're recovering our stin pack collection here. That is good. We've needed to do that for a little while now. Oh, we can also go in here. We could talk to Tommy a little bit more. Um, that will take 45 ammo. By now, Tommy's gone back into his office. Hey, buddy. How's it going, Tommy? Don't know how long it's going to take to get butts back in these seats. <laughs> That's right. But we like pre-war money. For the multiplayer campaign, I don't know. I really wanted to play uh, play with friends Fallout 4, but I can't... Yeah. I mean, I love playing cooperative games. Okay, we got everything in here. Perfect. So now that we have our new companion, now we can do some of the other quests that I had intended uh, to do. First and foremost on that list, we're going to go rescue Nick Valentine. Finally. Because we're sort of in that neck of the woods. We're really close to, the, for, to Boston Common, and that's where Park Street Station is. And so that's exactly where we are going to go. It's right up here. Oh, shit. What the? Oh, great. Do you have any friends? No, it was just you? The super mutants were fighting at something. I wonder what these super mutants are fighting. I see something over there, but I can't target it in vats, so I don't know what they're fighting. Whoa, whoa. Now, what were they firing at? I don't see what they were firing at. Ah. Gotta go. Alright, well, feel free to drop by anytime. Oh, they were shooting at Deacon. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Feel free to drop by and talk, uh, talk anytime. Very nice to getting to know you. Let's see. Oh, Deacon's getting into another fight. Apparently that's how he rolls. That's okay. Let's cruise back up to Park Street Station. So I, I'm not going to be escorting Deacon all the way back to Sanctuary. Sounds like he's literally aggroing everything on his way up there. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got here? Well, sure. Normally I don't bother, but since I since I'd already opened it. Okay, we should have enough ammunition for this. And uh, I can't believe Cleo drank out of that water. Joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. He caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. 
She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face Let's left. Drag that junk around. Where are these guys? Maybe I should talk to the boss. Can't be that mad at me. What, what's the worst thing that could happen? Oh, right. Last time I dope up on jet. Oh, shit. Die on me. Where'd that come from? Come on, buddy. I know you're out there. Come on out. I talk. <laughs> Kate, they're behind you. Turn around. He's here for the detectives. Fight him. Look at this guy. Dog meat's got him. Okay. I was just getting worse. Thank you. Dog meat was able to grab him. That was the end of that. Let's pick this door. Ooh. Nope. This. Got it. Yes. Let's see. What do we got in here? A couple bottle caps. Ah. Uh, Definitely take purified water. We'll definitely take the glue. Ooh, we got a nice little safe here. Hey, Kate, like this. Sweet. <laughs> Beautiful. It's always nice when you can get the jump on them like that. It does make life a lot easier. And this salvage is going to be really amazing. I don't think there's anything. They don't automatically cease. Play notice. Okay, they're just talking about um, how the terminal is going to shut down soon. Alright, I'm not going to grab all of those coffee cups. Granted, ceramic is nice and all that, but. Ooh, wow, that guy had 44 ammo. That's sweet. Okay. We got pencil. Ah, there we go. Our overdue book. We needed that. Perfect. Okay. I don't see anything great in there. We'll take that gas canister, however. <laughs> That's an interesting improvised toilet. Just a chair with uh, just a nice little chair with a bucket. Here's a tension trigger. This is what I didn't disable last time. Grenade bouquet. Okay, nothing particularly of interest there. <laughs> oh, dog meat, never change. We got everything out of there. We got a bunch of trigger men. See nothing particular interest here. But we do have a bathroom scale, so that was a trap. Where's the explosive? Ah, here it is. Here's the explosive. So if you're just careless, you could easily have walked right by it. Now one thing I will do. Let's Headshot with a gauze rifle? Yeah, there's nothing left of that dude's head. And now... We wait. Perfect. Ah! Damn it. Kate just walked right in front of that shot. All right, well, I didn't need to set up that bottle cap mine. Yeah, I was hoping I could get him. That will 
I'll take care of that one. <laughs> Traps. Beautiful. Oh, we like. Comex is actually pretty cool. Granted, for this build, Comex isn't all that useful. Comex is more for a uh, melee build. But just the same, we do like it. Just in case I'm. I need to do a melee kill with somebody. That will certainly help with that later. Once we start doing that. Alright. See anything valuable there? Let's just make sure we're not missing anything. I don't think we are. Definitely pick up that. Let's see what's in here. Mm -hmm. That's it. Ah, that's just the rifle. Would shoot you if you uh, didn't pick that. Get this lock. Then Seraph's probably gonna go get some water in a second. Nice. Hopefully, not have my cat drink my own water. Although, as uh, Nikki is so famous of saying, it's not really my water. It was always hers. <laughs> and let's let's face it, she's she's not wrong. <laughs> She's, she's not wrong. <laughs> oh, my cat. Character. Okay. I don't think we see anything else here now. Okay. I think we're going to have the same information in that data terminal. Let's go back and do this. We like cans because it's metal and it's light. Tin can, drinking glass. Fine, I'll take the beer bottles. I could sleep if I needed to, but we don't. So, fun fact, Dogmeat has a completely different companion model than all of the other companions because it's modeled after a real German Shepherd named River, who would, uh, when they were testing, River would constantly walk in front and so uh, dog meat will also walk in front. I always thought that was pretty neat. Well, here we go. We know what that is. Perfect. <laughs> nice little triple shot. Oh, there was one more. Fuck. I thought I got all of them. Let's run. Never mind. That was easy. Fortunately, they decided to take cover from Kate. And uh, we're in plain view of me. Excellent. I'll be damned. Vogtech tucked these little beauties everywhere. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. I don't think there's anything valuable over... Ooh. Definitely take the Wonder Glue. I'm going to end up needing to stash all sorts of uh, junk in Kate's care in a second. All right. Let's get into the vault. Thankfully, we've got a way in. Our very own Pip-Boy. Conveniently enough. Of course, this is making all sorts of noise. We should expect anybody on the other side to hear this. How did I miss him? Point blank range. Shit. Wow, that guy managed to charge and hit me. Fuck. 
And I knew they were there. Bad on my part. I should not have let that happen. Fortunately, got it. I've got tons upon tons of uh, noodle cups. So let's eat one of those. And let's wash it down with some purified water. Fuck, I need to get rid of that Deezer's Lemonade. I'm not drinking Deezer's Lemonade. Not even if I'm dying am I drinking that shit. Vault Tech Terminal. Okay, let's see if there's anything particularly of interest in the Vault Tech Terminal. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to summarize what's here. Excited about getting our latest Endeavor. Repurposing Park Street Subway Station. Seeing a decrease in building costs. Reusing a lot of the same structure. Uh, help maintain the security in its experiment from prying eyes without proper clearance. Loose lips sinks ships, of course. Uh, they also re uh, remote and uh, result in immediate termination of possible criminal investigations. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Science staff only. Okay, so... Vault 114 will be hosting high-ranking members of local and state government, local luminaries, business people, families. However, the luxury aspect of the vault has been highly exaggerated to the future residents. So, uh, in addition, we're currently interviewing for the overseer position from many candidates. Goal is to find someone with no supervisory or government experience, hopefully with a strong anti-authority bias. HR tells us the interview process has vetted, uh, vetted many viable candidates. By taking away the luxury and authority of these groups saw in surface life, we hope to study the reactions in stressful situations. Uh, as such, do not, under, uh, do not undermine the new overseer's authority at all during the experiment, even and especially if it may cause physical discomfort, embarrassment, or harm to residents. Thank you, vault Tech Management. Oh my god, that's right. So that's the experiment here. And we'll grab a... We'll grab a uniform at some point. Yep, we will grab one Vault 114 jumpsuit. We'll collect that later. Okay, and we're gonna exit out of this area. So, one cheesy thing you could do, theoretically, is put a bunch of mines here, and then when we come up later, some hostile enemies that will uh, show up here will immediately get hit by those mines. We're not going to do that, but um, you theoretically could. You just have to be careful with the placement so they, they don't hit you when you Leave first walk out the door. They're just wasting space. And it does immediately turn everything hostile, so there's no chance. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of con all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. What the Perfect. There we go. Damn, I'm collecting 10 millimeter ammo like it's going out of style. Finally. Of course, it's the sniper ammunition that I'm really having a hard time uh, keeping. That is okay. Here we go. Main vault. Proper. Shit. Is oh, shit. That's not what I thought I was having. <laughs> well, that's going to get interesting in a second. Yep, Kate, lure him up here. Killed one of them. worked anyway. Where are they? Okay, they're all staying over there. Perfect. What? All right, very funny. Looks Get like the vault was never completed. Yep, they're staying over there. Actually, smart on their part. Perfect. Really? A freezing camera gun? <sighs> all right, we'll take the cake pan. 
We got a couple of approaches. We could go down and around. Uh, yes, only because cement is super rare. And we're gonna be building a lot of cement soon. <laughs> well, we already fixed the castle walls, so that helps. Damn. I missed that opportunity. Got you. Take the mute fruit. Head back up here. Man, I missed this dude with the uh, grenade somehow. We still got uh, still got somebody below, but they can't see us. That's good. Yeah, it's gonna be you, buddy. Eight to tell you. I'm actually surprised that worked that well. <laughs> we literally just dropped a fucking grenade on his ass. Alright, now we go into Vault 114. Uh, okay. Now that we're in Vault 114 proper, now we get some cool shit that we can't necessarily get in other places. Undamaged Abraxo cleaner. Just in case we want to decorate with it. Okay, one thing I will do though, is this is going to be a spot where Seraph is going to uh, get a new thing of water. I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to run an ad so that, oh, well, never mind. It's not going to let me do that. Maybe it's already running. Uh, but I shall be right back in uh, just uh, like 30 seconds, a minute, something like that. And I might as well leave that cup of water up here for Kitty Kitty. This time I'm going to be smart. I'm going to leave my game paused so the enemies don't attack me. Okay. Try that again. Now that I have abil the ability to hydrate myself. Uh. Alright, most appreciated. For holding on. Here we go. Let's resume. Excellent. You know, I need to really reconsider. I think that does work, keeping my uh, my window cropped so you see the entire 21-9 frame, but I could also zoom in. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's going to bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh no. I, I, 
I gotta smooth this over fast. Hey, you! Uh, uh, I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open! So we could do the overseer door password. Cops. Whatever you find, don't forget if to you share. Get locked out of the terminal, don't worry. The system will reset itself. Just give it a minute. But it's a novice lock. This is going to be easy for us to pick here. I'm in. Perfect. That was actually pretty easy. Override. So we could take a number, or we could just override the door controls. Just for the amusement of it, when you take a number, your number is 998. Please wait until your number is called. <laughs> We're just going to override the door controls. And so if you haven't met any of them before, this could be interesting. When you first see, it's like, the whoa. Damsel in distress scenario. Question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? <laughs> what are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. My baby's missing. His name's Sean. He was kidnapped, but I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame, and she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. So yeah, when I first played this game, once upon a time on PS4, let's grab this. We're going to grab the speech bobblehead. So now all vendors permanently have a hundred more caps for bartering. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. Until they found this place. We're also going to take this. Ah, this, that's right. Now we can craft more legendaries. Yeah, Kate, good luck with that. We will, however, pick this toolbox. Perfect. Yes. I should probably be careful. I'm going to be over encumbered pretty soon. Help Nick out there. Normally, he could just open that door. Hold up, I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? No job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long, huh? Hey, Dino, quit razzing that detective again. So, I don't think there's any other way the to do this it? other than to kill these guys, but just for my own amusement here, I can't pick up that box. And I can't really pick up these, but you know what? Yeah, right, fine. Not exactly the greatest shooting there. We'll take the potato. Why not? Yep, there it is. Hey, what you need? Sure. Give her some of this Glad stuff. Take, I, I mean, hold some stuff for you. <laughs> right, Kate. But yeah, the bags of cement alone were a lot of it. And I knew that. I knew I was kind of living on borrowed time there. So we'll just give her all this shit. So you do have a bunch of stuff. Okay. Yeah, we'll have you carry that. Sure. Oh yeah, we don't need those.
That's fine for now. Definitely doing good for ammunition. That's for sure. Hard and loud, huh? Well, gets the job done. Bad for whoever cleans up the floors. Definitely take soap. Soap is awesome. It's oil for a very nice lightweight. Duct tape. Make more of that. Okay, nothing that way. This door is on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Perfect. So even if you come in here and get this far, you can't get any further without rescuing Nick. I love Dick's Nick's dialogue here. Mm. We'll grab the magazine. Yes. Because we like plus five action points. For sure. I was actually pretty lucky. Uh, no. Uh, How about it? I never liked messing with this technical You know what? Crashing. I will take the vault tech lab coat. Hey, dog me. I have a purpose for that. You know what? I'll give you the jumpsuit, too, while I'm at it. Oh, I already grabbed one of those. Good old, uh... Yeah. How about... All right. Oh, I'll find you. Really? I shot you in the face and you didn't die? Uh, Unbelievable. Uh, Valentine's getting himself into trouble. Looks like you already did it. Yeah. Cool. Un we got some really cool stuff in here. I'll take the glass. But I do like having the uh, pristine coffee cups. So those we'll all use. Fuck. Here I am, looting. More stairs. Oh. Playing with the wrong but yeah, more stairs. <laughs> That guy interrupted it. So that sucked. I got caught stimpacking uh, Kate there. Those guys were pretty serious. But we will take the sprinter. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a really good legendary item we just picked up off that asshole. Uh, it's probably not worth the wait for just a screw. Although screws are really nice. But, okay, well, we're definitely picking this. It's unfortunate it doesn't always load, uh... Well, we're definitely taking all that pre-war money. Hell yeah! Oh ho ho, we found the mother load here. Man, this is good shit. Oh, Seraph. You had it. And when it comes to these master locks... Not a whole lot of uh, play you got. 
Ooh, that's nice. This is what we're using for our gauze rifle. Last pictures. Sure. Take that. All right. I think we got everything that we use that is useful. Let's reload. Okay. Of course, forgiving that the animation is always the same, no matter how much ammunition we're always loading. Let's see, nothing else of interest in here. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. <laughs> All right, then let's do this. What are you doing? You're coming to my house? Shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is going to set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to death, shall I? Should have left that alone, Mickey. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. <laughs> Skinny's no good for you, Darla. Put a bullet in him. I just might let him go. <laughs> uh, but as uh, this is a good point to remind everybody that uh, because we gave Mama Murphy uh, a bunch of chems, she did mention something about the quarry, and now this comes back. Skinny, remember the quarry. Lily June on the rocks. Ring any bells? How the hell did you know about that? Okay, you two can go. You got until the count of ten. Then I don't care what happened back in the old days. You're dead. What are you doing, Skinny? Kill him! No, Dollar. They get one chance to leave. Skinny Malone's putting his foot down. My mother was right. You monsters are all just talk. Out of here fast. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I've never actually just ha tried hanging out there. I assume that if you just sit there, it'll be, able, be like, I told you to leave, and then the fight just starts anyway. But, why mess around? Come on, Nick, let's get out of here. wonder who's firing at whom. I feel like we killed everybody on the way in. Oh, lovely. I just love a rad storm. So obviously, uh, that whole line rings differently in the middle of a rad storm. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean. Oh, I missed it. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Follow me.
just like that, we're back on our main quest. I think the first time I played this, I did that at like level 8 or something. It was uh, significantly harder than this. Well, it's a good thing we had the subtitles on it. We probably wouldn't have heard a single word he said in this maelstrom. God damn. But yeah, he is right. Oh, hold that pick up there. Nothing crazy. Wow. Oh my God, that looks awesome. You know what? We're gonna take a screenshot of that. Well, Violet's going to need some Radaway when we get back. Holy shit. Is there any ammo in that? Yeah, we'll take it anyway. Usually when I find ice chests like that, they've got ammo in them. Hey, uh, Nikki, you're going to want to go this way, buddy. I know you're getting tossed up by dog meat, but... Okay. All right. For a second, I thought he was going to go the completely wrong way there. I wasn't sure what he was doing. Game is beautiful sometimes. All right, it's time to do some rat away. Is goddamn this rad storm is something else. Oh wow! So usually we don't approach Diamond City from this side. We're usually coming out of, uh, or no, that's actually the exact way. I thought we were coming at it from that side. Never mind. Disregard. We always come at it from this side. It's just with the Rad Storm, it looked unfamiliar to me. Oh well, yay! We're now back in good old Diamond City. We could actually do some Diamond City quests while we're here as well. In fact, we might just do that. If we're looking for some action, I'm betting we'll find it here. Probably will. Now there is a bug. Okay, good. It looks like it didn't trigger there. But I can't tell you in times we walk by her and all of a sudden she'll scream Piper and she means to actually have a chance to talk with her sister. But if Piper's not with you, she will go to Piper's location. So if Piper's in Sanctuary, she'll run all the way to Sanctuary. And who boy is that a ride? <laughs> all right. Allie? Are you here? Nick? Oh God, it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know... If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Elvis. <laughs> our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. If you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be.
My husband was... murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... they just... just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, uh, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? The man who killed my husband, he had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper. Cross your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Now, the funny part is, you could say, uh... You know, I think I, uh, well, I might have, and you could also do this, you know, sarcastic entry here, but uh, because we went through the memory den and we're able to relive the memories, paying in exquisite attention to everything that we were experiencing there, we know for sure that they never said their names. No, they never said their names. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. 
See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. All right, let's go follow Nick. Oops. Let's not get in his way. Let's actually follow him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now we can actually go through the case files if we so chose. We'll come back and do that. Oops, did I do it too fast? I probably did it too fast. Come on. Well, let's at least grab Rob Fun. You've really gone through a lot, haven't you? Hope you and Nick find that monster. Yeah, me too, Ellie. Me too. Threats again. So that's a bug where it happens if you engage in a door too fast before an NPC triggers it. You just, it kind of fades. You just have to give it a minute before it resets. Not a big deal. Yeah, I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you <laughs> give it a try? So, uh, we could just pick the lock here. We could just pick the lock. But if you can't pick the lock, you can, um... What will happen is you will get a couple of options and you can go up to the mayor uh, and we can get it from him through a speech check, which is actually what I'm kind of inclined to do. Let's do that. But yeah, we are perfectly capable of picking that lock. No luck. Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Yeah, good luck with that, Valentine. You're not going to pick that lock. <laughs> now, Valentine is very good at hacking terminals, however. But we don't need him to do that for us. I Aswara, the game changer! We got small arm, oh, long no. arm, ammunition! Hey, better not go around scrapping anything worthwhile around here. We need those spare parts, too, you know. No you know, a shotgun's great insurance against raiders. I've got a few minutes to browse. Let's buy some ammo. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. We need ammunition. We need 44 rounds. We need 10 millimeter, and we need that. So we're about to give him a crap ton of money. So let's give him 38. We don't need 44. We don't need shotgun shells at this point. Yep, we'll take that money. Uh, we could try to buy the big boy off of him now. Now the time to buy big boy. Of course, if that's the case, I should do... Uh... You know what? Let's yes, cancel trade in progress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drugs. Grape med tats. Yes, we're going to take one grape med tat so that we can adjust that price. We're also going to take some day tripper. Hell yeah. And I don't think there's anything else that really boosts our charisma. Yeah, wine doesn't really boost it. There are a couple of spirits that boost our charisma, but that should be good. Right. And Kate That's liked right. it anyway. We can talk about guns, or maybe you want to. Sure. Since we're doing it's this anyway, right. that extra ten percent and that charisma boost, it's going to make a big difference. So let's 
let's take a look and let's see. We were just about to do that. Let's see what the difference actually is. Okay. Now we're going to sell the 38s, the 45s, and the shotgun shells. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Huge difference. Boy. Yeah. Now it's only costing us 3,000 instead of 5,000. Let's see what else we can do. Be war money. Well, look at that. <laughs> uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Have a minute. Got something on my mind. Perfect. Of course. Anything you need. Anything I need. Huh? Convenient. I might take you up on that one day. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you've agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now, so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder if there's anything I learned in the combat zone. It was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. Surviving the combat zone must have been rough. That's putting it nicely. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss. But I called it home. I was making a few caps. Had me own bed to sleep in and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. You aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. If you know what I mean. You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all... What are friends for? Hey. Good boy. <laughs> oh, I could have sold Archer or that fat man. Damn it. All right. Well, the next time we're at him, that's what we'll do. Cool. All right. So now when I need to launch artillery, the awesome thing about Big Boy is it launches two projectiles for the price of one. And when you're talking about a mini nuke, that makes a big difference. Uh, you know what? Is now a good time to finally do that? <sighs> no. Well, I'll, I'll probably mess around with that off stream. Because when I'm messing around in the character generator and the haircut thing, I could... Sometimes that takes me a really long time to decide on a new haircut. But at some juncture, yes, I will indeed go to <laughs> Ghosty Nose. <laughs> uh, you've been here for some of my, oh, do I want this look or that look or, oh my God. Hey, Piper, look at that. Why doesn't the mayor come out of his office, huh? He's afraid of talking to the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. You ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less. The mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out... That's what everyone's going to be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Looking the good, Piper. Receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. 
Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. Convenient, isn't it? Ah, yes. I remember you. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my baby. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I... I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. Well, we still managed to talk him into helping us out. And of course, we could go through this. So if you can't talk him out of it, you can come over here and you can steal it. I think you can steal it from in here if you can't actually get him to give it to you. Forget where it is, but you can you can kind of go over here and you can steal that key. I have seen that. I think uh, maybe you have to fail that and then you uh, have the option of sneaking around. Man, <laughs> the Bethesda engine really is... Uh, Having some interesting days with these characters in the pathing lately. That's okay. Yeah, once I'm done... Maybe I'll do it on stream once we're done with the questing. And they call elevator button in the event that you go through the elevator and it's up there. But you want to ride it up, you can press this button. And the lift will come down. Doo -doo -doo. We got plenty to do in Diamond City at the moment. Read all about it. An outsider's perspective on Diamond City. Are we still the latest hairstyle Oops. from the upper stand? Your friend looks like trouble. Go. Make sure she's not. <laughs> Don't look outside the wall undefended. I love how the uh, street vendors just like constantly shout at you when you're walking through here. Yeah, this certainly does look like a nice uh, abandoned part of town, doesn't it? Hey, Nick. Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Why bother? That's just garbage. I toss it. Place seems small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Let's take a look around anyway. Well, we got a bed and a sleeping bag, so clearly two people can be here. Yeah, I'll take corn. Uh, nothing here. Handcuffs. Check out that That's desk. ominous. Well, look at that. We got a button. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Let's certainly take iguana soup, nuka cherry. I don't think we see anything else of particular interest here. We got some 38 rounds. Gwinnett stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. It won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. 
Just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. We can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Now my attitude is, hell yeah we can! <laughs> uh. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Yeah, Nick Valentine is now available to be our companion. So one playthrough I did. Um, so we got a 44 round here. So there was one playthrough I, where I had a 44 uh, uh, pistol, which I think I grabbed from uh, that one site just east of Sanctuary. And so I transferred all my 44 ammo to dog meat and I grabbed this 44 bullet and I made sure that when, uh, I mean, at this point, at, at this point, it's pretty obvious we're going to face Kellogg at some point in the future. Um, and so just, just as an aside of like, just some of the goofy things that, uh, that I've done in previous playthroughs, uh, it's not worth the effort because at that point you have to whittle them down with other weapons. But when he was down low, I made sure to pull out that 44 sub nose pistol and killed him with the bullet that was sitting on the desk right next to it, just to be that petty. <laughs> we'll take oil, pack of cigarettes. All right, so let's do this. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. Oh, we're so close to that level. Good to be back in Diamond City. You're welcome, Nick. <laughs> so depending on how this goes, I wonder how late I'll be doing this. Yeah, still, still got a pretty good while. Thinking we'll go through this part of this. Good boy, dog meat. Let's go. When did I lose? Oh, right, because, uh, You know what? Yeah, that's fine. We'll go with that autosave. Because once I gain a level, my health will immediately boost miles on the road. to the max. Hey, I'm hoping I'm gonna play a little, gonna play games with this, and maybe I shouldn't. But I'm gonna try. Yeah. Greetings, Minutemen. Good to see you out here patrolling. Now, this could be stupid on my part. But I'm going to hope to get a health boost off of the... Uh... That's a Mr. Gutsy, isn't it? I guess we... Oh, no, it's a settler. Kellogg's trail, eh? Good boy. San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Good job. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Good validation that we're already on the right scent. Come on, boy. Come on, Kate, move. Come on, dog meat. Let's do this. Dog meat, you're killing me, boy. Thank you. Why is that settler just hanging out there? I'm sure it's a random encounter, but at this point... Hi, cat! Speaking of random encounters, my cat's decided to join us. Got ourselves a beautiful sunset here. There we go. That paid dividends. Leave that joke behind. You're just wasting space. It's useful, Kate, trust me. Now, is that a legendary? 
It was just a brood mother. <laughs> it was just big. Hello, cat. Hold on. Sorry, bear with me. Cat needs a pet. Hi, kitty kitty. Who's my good girl? Who's my good girl? Hello, Cleo. Need some attention, honey? Oh, I know. I love you, too. I know. I love you, too, cat. I know. I love you, too. You good girl? What you doing? Gonna sit on my foot? Yep. Exactly what you're gonna do. Headbutt my shin and then sit on my foot. <laughs> there you are. Well. Took out the targeting computer with one bullet. This guy's a crack shot. Lots of blood here. Dog meat could track Kellogg if he took a wound too. Torn up by his own turret. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Hey, freak bot. Greetings. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Run the, uh, Run the trail of Kellogg. Looks like this one thought he'd get away. No such luck. So we now have a name for the person who uh, killed our husband and uh, kidnapped our child. And Ron is sent. We actually found the main plot. Imagine that! <laughs> it was bound to happen eventually. Kate's still with us. Good. Perfect. And in a second, something nasty is going to come right out of those bushes. Or maybe not. Oh, there it is. There we go. Blew its goddamn brains out. Okay. How'd the rest of the randomizer go? That is the most surrealistic, <laughs> goofy uh, randomizer ever. I love the uh, the weird slash bad music. It's fucking great. Nice. In what order? Mother brain first or... Uh, or uh, Ganon first? Yeah. Somebody didn't want to get snuck up on here. A decoy, huh? Clever. Nobody's used this recently. When it's stout, one of his creature comforts. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Good boy. So, uh, start, uh, Ganon first. Nice. Started a new seed and Aghanim's already dead. Wow. We got three sword upgrades in ten minutes? Oh my god. <laughs> so the complete opposite of a cursed seed. You got, like, a, the blessed seed. Nice. Excellent. It's nice when things work out. So far, so good. Crossing a bridge. Although, man, I don't, I don't like crossing bridges in the wasteland. I feel very exposed walking across bridges. I can't believe you got three sword upgrades in like 10 minutes. That's bonkers, man. 
<laughs> that is awesome. All right, definitely keeping my head on a swivel here. Fortunately, we did take care of most of the ghouls in Forest Grove Marsh, so we shouldn't have to worry about all of those coming after us at this point. Right. Man, we've got this up here. Attacking known mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. I'm gonna hear that damn dog. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Come on. What happened here? Error. Operator deceased. Threat level Omega. He killed us. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. <laughs> Not sure who started it, but this traitor never stood a chance. Doesn't look like a robbery. Must have just gotten in his way. This didn't do any good for him, did it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you got the lamp and a bunch of sword upgrades, fuck it. Just open up the dark world and be done with it. Oh, shit. Oh, come here, bastard. There we go. Kill shot. Oh, and the moon pearl. Fuck. Nice. Man, that is like the perfect seed. Everything is just coming up freak bot. <laughs> that reminds me. Let's go in here. And let's deal the last science. Perfect. Yeah. Keep following, dog meat. Ugh. Cleo, you're putting my foot to sleep here, cat. Ugh. Wonder if I can get away with moving my foot. Maybe I can move my foot. I know, I know you don't want me to move your foot. I know you're comfy, except for the fact that my foot going to sleep there, cat. Sorry. <laughs> oh, crap. I was thinking about Cleo. There we go. Lost track of dog meat for a brief moment there. But we got him. So we were sort of up in this region when we were dealing with the Rust Devils. So this is not completely foreign to us. We know there's a military base over here. So at this point, I'm starting to think, yep, yeah, here we go. What do you think, boy? Huh? Is this our man? Actually, just for my own amusement here. Hey, need something? What's up? Your thoughts? Only thing better than getting pissed okay. is picking a fight. Am I right? Nothing useful. That was it. Fine by me. Sometimes when you ask your companion their thoughts, they'll tell you relevant things about the plot and where things stand. But I guess this was not the best spot for that. I'll do that after something else is about to happen. Fucking blow flies. Bastard. It was that close. May as well get the XP for it. Man, this place is fucking creepy with this look. Hold up. You hear that? Took a lot more shooting than it really feel like it should have. 
Good boy, dog meat. Is this the place? Huh? Is he in here, boy? Smart little mutt. He let us right to Kellogg. Why don't you have him run off and play so you can start your little reunion? Come on, boy. It's time to go. All right, perfect. Okay, so now we need to get into Fort Hagen. So let's cruise over here. And we're going to do this the old... Uh, <laughs> that was a nice shot. Of course, I'm not going to get any of it salvaged from that location, but that's okay. Let's cruise up here. Grab some of this shit. This door will be useful later. That's where we're going to exit from. There it is. What about you? Same thing? Yeah. Sweet. Now I'm looking for... That's what I'm looking for. Alright. We're going to do a rooftop infiltration. We're going to work our way down. Rather than entering Fort Hagen kind of in the middle. We're going to do a very sensible search and clear. But first, let's have our ballistic weapons do more damage. I'm not gonna. Okay, only because it's super rare. Okay, fine. Hey, uh, Kate. Psst. Point out. Shit. Can you uh, carry any more? Good, you can. No, 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 you can't. What you need, and I'll get right on it. Hey. Hey, hey dog me. I need you. Carry a whole bunch of other stuff, and then I'll be much more judicious about what I'm picking up. We're only going to pick up light or very valuable salvage. All right. Yeah, it should be fine. Well, we got a pound of fuses. That's all right. Uh, oh, yeah, we don't need that much duct tape at the moment. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Nice. Hostile sensor. Shit. Considering that was battle damage, yeah, Stimpak makes a little sense. Even though I've got tons of, uh... Has your termination. <laughs> Good to know. Because I've ordered his termination, fucko. I know you're there somewhere, but for the now, pick the safe. Sweet. I know this fucker's around here somewhere. Can't craft because we're in a caution environment. I am no longer detecting an enemy presence. I think he moved around over here. You know what? Might be downstairs. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that weighs two pounds. We're not picking that up, but we will pick up that. And we'll take the ammo. Yeah, the military grade circuit board's just too fucking heavy. At this juncture? Right, I'm not gonna worry about. Detected. Julius. Okay, need that. What's up, Cleo? Is someone present? 
I recommend against hostile action. So what I could do is activate the Protectron, but typically all that does is make one more thing that I have to worry about. this really fast. That's chained. Take the shot glass. Pick the suitcase. Kate will like that. Where did my cat go? What kind of trouble is my co-host getting into? <laughs> Alright, we don't want any of those. That's chained. We need to go over there in a little bit. Let's see crazy here. I think we could have dropped down into this room. Theoretically. I'm sure we'll take the battered clipboard. Take bobby pins. Nothing value here. I know... I knew that fucking synth was around here somewhere. But wait, there's more. Sensors indicating concealed organic life form. You can have too many bobby pins, yeah. No, no, seriously. time Where the fuck is this guy? There you are. Fine. Boom. Sounds like you're coming from over there. Not gonna worry about you just now. Let's grab the legendary. It would appear my target has disappeared. Boy, it sounds like they're right across here, doesn't it? But I think they're around. So let's just. I love how the light will just sway with that. Pick this. Continue working up Kate's affinity. Sweet. Whoops. Didn't even notice the fucking trap. Damn it, Seraph. Tension triggers right in plain view. I just missed it. Dumb shit. Why bother? That's just garbage. I toss it. Uh, yeah, I gotta be selective here. I can't just be picking up that. It's just too heavy. All right. Damn! Did someone drive a bulldozer through here? Yeah, no kidding. All right. Come on, this way. You. Through here. We went through this way already. Perfect. Take the Stimpax. Man, that camera would be nice, but at this point it's just too heavy. You can shoot wildly, bastard. Still not going to hit me. Like, once it didn't advance, I'm like, oh, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's a turret. Okay, the gold watch, on the other hand, we will take. Uh, the wooden spoon, well, that's light. Got plenty of cork. Uh, yeah, antiseptic fiberglass is valuable. Okay, 
don't need mines at this juncture. Whoops. Damn. Didn't want to do that. Arr. Oh, okay. I probably was okay with that. <sighs> Anything over here? We'll take more of this. Undo the chain. Yep. Alright, that's how we get around here. Hack this terminal. So if we had Valentine with us, we could have Valentine hack this. But since we're here and we're more than capable of hacking now. Uh, wow, we got kind of unlucky with that. Nice. Okay. Well, I mean, we were... <laughs> that actually was convenient that we had so many different characters and zero in common. We were able to rule out a lot of them. Now we can open this. Never understood the use for all these crazy gizmos. A little bit more. Probably that. There it is. Yes. Ooh, yes. Love 10 millimeter ammo. Down we go. Deeper and deeper into Fort Hagen we go. While we're at it, food. Eat another these noodle cups. Actually, shit. <laughs> Let's, uh... Maximize our health here. By the way. May as well do go to full while we're at it. The nice part about having a companion while he's shooting at your companion I think I hear something. I'm like, yes, I did. <laughs> like, damn, I didn't get that guy. Can't believe he just ran up with a baton and bitch slapped me in the face with it. Got it. Kate liked that. Thankfully, we're doing a bunch of stuff that Kate likes. Man, and the nice part, they give you an armor and a weapons work. Ooh, you know what? You know what? I could work on my, uh, well, all right, no, let's not do that right now. But I could easily have uh, worked on um, those and improved uh, Righteous Authority. Now that I have two, uh, two science. Yeah, if it isn't my old friend, the frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler. And for the first time since this whole nonsense began, we hear that voice again. This time I'm going to be a little more smart about it. Smart about this. Sure, I'll take pulse grenades. I can hear that turret somewhere. Yeah, we'll pick this ammo box. I was about to say, I thought this part seemed familiar. <laughs> so you've probably, I mean, you probably watched me do this stuff the first time also, but nice. uh, even if you didn't, um, yeah, that voice... It's, uh, he's back. We finally tracked him down after, uh, the opening part of the game where he shoots, uh, our husband. Oh, no, dog meat. Well, all right, dog meat. Sure, that works too, buddy. Jesus. Ammo, caps, whatever you find, don't forget. Yeah, it's, it's 
three pounds. That's not worth it. Sorry, your house has been around <laughs> for 200 years. But I don't need a roommate. Leave. And then we proceed deeper. But we're starting to get close to where we left off before I had to format my computer and lose all my progress. We're going to make fairly quick work of this this time, hopefully. <laughs> Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. Yeah, it's valuable, even though it's heavy. Fucking Terminators. Yeah. <laughs> Killed him in one hit. Didn't realize I got him in one hit. Must be where all the top brass hung out while the soldiers were dying on the surface. That's true, Kate. That's very true. Look, you're pissed off. I get it. I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here. It's not going to go your way. And of course, that's going to be a little bit of foreshadowing. Actually, I'll take the sequin dress. Uh, do I bother? Actually, you know what? I don't think we ever bothered with this. Uh... even worth my time. Move a dud, but I'd rather reset my tries. I feel like I could reset my tries here if I just knew where it was. Maybe there, is a, maybe there isn't a retry one this time. I feel like that would be it right there. No? No, you're not going to give that to me? Uh, likeness. Oh, the three in... Uh... Probably that one. Got it. Yep. Oh. Oh, my God. Hear that turret, just don't see it. But I know it's over here. There it is. Nice shot, Seraph. I mean, I don't know. In my case, things have been coming up aces since I blew Benny's head over it, right? <laughs> oh, that fucking douchebag. Oh, I'd love to pick up that telephone, but man. It's just hard to justify considering the weight of it. Yeah, even with nuclear material. Nope. I know you were still there. Can't be picking. Okay, cigarettes are light enough. Okay, and oil we will always pick up this point. Yeah, no, this is good. It's all fine. At this point, I'm not even picking up the Abraxo cleaner. You cannot escape. Detection for law. Alright. What worries me? Hello. Damn, I didn't realize I was that low on health. Fuck. We finally died from something other than a super mutant. 
Oh god, we started off from here. Damn it, Seraph, you're stupid son of a bitch. Come knocking on my door. Gave you 50 50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, what am I doing? Damn. Of course, it doesn't help they're hitting me in the head. Damn. These fuckers are really putting up a fight. Damn it, Kate, get out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Sure, let's take that. Good news, we didn't really lose that much progress. Mostly just dumb on my part. Look, you're pissed off, I get it, I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not gonna go your way. Oh, oh Kellogg, don't get overconfident just because I was stupid and allowed myself to die there. You're gonna eat a gigantic shit sandwich, I assure you. <laughs> this time I'm not going to be stupid enough to get myself killed there. This time it's going to be Kate. Shot, bitch. Okay, nothing here. Right. Nothing especially useful there. We'll take that soap again. Okay. It's time. Try again. Not putting ourselves in that position again. Bastard. What worries me is this fucking extinguisher. You know what? I'm going to pick up the extinguisher just so I don't have to worry about it exploding. I don't think that exploded, but I was overly worried about that last time. To the point to my extreme detriment. Alright. I was way, way too worried about that extinguisher. Yes, all. Let's go to that extinguisher. And now we drop it. Where is that extinguisher? There it is. Yeah, it's six pounds and it really doesn't have a whole lot. So we'll drop in that. I mean, it's nice that it has asbestos. That is useful for certain things, but not for not for its weight. <laughs> uh, all right. That setback aside. Sweet. Now we've got, now for sure we're good on overdue books. We don't have to worry about that anymore. I think I already got that. Yes, I did. Okay. We picked up the fusion core. Let's move out. Okay, coast is clear. Uh, yes, we will grab that. Nothing here. Good. Clear. Clear. Stim pack. I'll take the stim pack. This ends up being important, so let's just do it. Who's over here? We'll open up the explosive box. At least I feel like there was something important in this room. That makes it worth it to go in nice. here. Hello. I have found you. No life signs Is detected. someone present? Employee melee tactics. Jesus. Sarah. 
missing a lot of shots today. Yeah, they caught you in the hallway. It happens. Don't worry about it, Kate. Okay, what was in here? Was there a magazine or a... I feel like there was like a bobblehead or a magazine or something that was worth... You're gonna drag that junk around. Am I crazy? Sure, I'll take the Nuka Cherry. Probably just drink the Nuka Cherry, to be honest. I'm not grabbing that. It's too there it is. Nice. Energy weapons bobblehead. There we go. I knew there was something worth getting in here. Yeah, let's grab that Nuka Cherry. Take some caffeine here. Who's over here? Take the Nuka Cola Quantum. And if we so needed, we could have, uh, if you don't have the ability to hack it, you grab the uh, armory password here. But in our case, we're going to hack it because that's XP. And we don't leave XP on the table. You got guts and determination. It's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. That's an anomaly. I know it's in there. <laughs> it was worth it. Even though it was a low percentage shot. Boom! Okay, we got a couple more. It's not too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have that option. Not a lot of people can say that. Thought I had it. And I did eventually. All right. Now we hack this. Unexpected. Uh, wow. No Any likeness. Okay, nothing. Okay, so it's not that. Okay, so one in common with that and nothing in common with that. Okay, that was actually a lot easier than uh, I thought it would be. Let's pick this lock. Come on, you bastard. Got it. Thank you. Alright. Let's take ammo. And if we didn't have a fat man or a laser pistol already, pick one up from here. I like ammunition. Bobby pins, another toolbox we could pick off. There we are. Come on. Yes. Perfect. Grab the covert operations manual. That's what I really wanted. Like this. Man, I forgot how many locks we could pick in here. This has been a great place for uh, raising Kate's affinity. This is awesome. Now oh, I must have gone too far. Yep, I went too far. Nice. Grab the wrong thing again. We'll grab bobby pins. We got another fucking turret. Great. Okay. Let's go through 
this? I don't remember this. Let's go check what's here real quick. Ah. Yeah, we'll take bottle caps. Just a bathroom. Got it. Okay. You made it. I'm just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Let's talk. <laughs> All right. And so if this goes sideways... This part is fucking great. <laughs> and there she is. The most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. So, here we are. Funny, huh? You murdering, kidnapping psychopath. Give me my son. Give me Sean. Now! Right to it then, huh? Okay. Fine. Your son, Sean. Great kid. A little older than you may have expected. But I'm guessing you figured that out by now. But if you're hoping for a happy reunion, ain't gonna happen. Your boy's not here. Then you're gonna take me to him. Right now. Take you to him. <laughs> like I could, even if I wanted to. Don't you get it? Your son. He's in a place nobody can reach. Sean's safe at home. In the Institute. Here, the Institute, I'll find my son no matter where he is. <laughs> That's the spirit. You know, you surprise me, I have to admit. I find myself actually kind of liking you. You might have actually been a good mother. And I admire your dedication. Even if it is ultimately useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So. You ready? In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love that fucking line. So yeah, we're just going to take some medics and we're going to take some psychojet. The beauties of Psychojet and MedX. <laughs> and slightly over-leveling. Yeah, it doesn't take uh, long for Psychojet to wear off. You poor, stupid bastard. All this tech. You were barely human. And where is... Oh, did I kill him too fast? Oh, I killed him too fast. He didn't get to bring out his gun. Oh, it glitched and he didn't get... Oh, the gun's right there. We can't get the fucking gun. Oh, that's so fucking lame. I don't even have words for that. Whatever. Fuck it. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I'm not doing that again just to wait so the gun... So, the gun, uh, so we can get his gun. We did that last time and it was fun, but... I guess we're not getting the gun this time. So if you really want Kellogg's pistol, you uh, you can't just waste him like we did there. That's all right. It's a bit of a bummer, but 
that's ultimately what it is. We're we we have I I I, mean, I have I have a feeling we're gonna find better weapons than that anyway. But we will take the yes. Co fun. We'll take some stim pack. We got some cool shit we could pick up around here. We're gonna take chems. We'll take that. We'll take purified water. All right. What we will do. We're going to unlock this computer. It requires his password. View access logs. There we go. Notes. The boy, Sean, successfully delivered back to the Institute. Payment received. New orders to track down Renegade. Gathered reinforcements. Cleared out and secured Fort Hagen. We move out soon. Now we open the door. Bastard Kellogg. You didn't even give me your fucking pistol, you piece of shit. God, I hate that fucking guy. It is a really awesome weapon, uh, though. So, in a vanilla playthrough, that's actually the weapon I end up using for the rest of the game. Uh, because what it does allow you to do is for, like, a tough fight. And, um... So, for sometimes for tough fights, I'll stay in vats a little bit. And the nice part about his is when you use a, when you use a critical hit with his gun it refills your action point meter. So you could just stay in vats the whole time. It's awesome in that regard. It's kind of uh, sucks that if you kill him too fast, the fucking gun doesn't actually really spawn properly and you end up kind of fucked like we just did there. Big thumbs down. <laughs> but oh well, it was worth it just to shoot him in the face and get all those stealth boys and just to curb stomp the piece of shit. That'll teach him to shoot, oh, Nate. So lame. <laughs> it really is, Nade. How are you, man? So you were there for the whole fight, or are you just there for... I got something I want to say to you. You know what? Sure. We, can have, this, we can have this talk now. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. <laughs> Explosion only. all that crap. Oh, you notice you've always been sticking, boy, me. You know watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. It would be nice to know more about you. You're saying that now, but when you hear me story, you might regret it. It all starts with two ways of humanity. I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. 18 years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. My God. I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there is more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charm and personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. You think that's slow? Just wait. The story gets much worse. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. You did what you had to do. Did I? When I closed me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. 
You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. Hey, I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. But I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. And of course... I'm always here for you, Kate. There's nothing you could say that would ever change that. Oh, uh, I... well, that's... that's not what I expected you to say. Sorry, I didn't realize you cared that much about me. And here I thought I was being stupid bothering you with me problems. It feels good to know if I need you, you'll be there for me. And I'll always be there for you too. I mean, it makes sense after what we just went through that she would, you know, decide to open up a little bit. So here we go. One of the more interesting parts of this game. It begins. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're shit. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> yeah, hell to the yeah. <laughs> hey, hmm? Here's <clears throat> funny part. You want to ask something? Your thoughts? I'm not superstitious, but seeing that ship fly overhead give me the chills. I don't think anything good can come from this. Not one bit. Okay, where's my power armor now, right? <laughs> Nothing else I need. Sure. So there we go. That is fucking Kellogg is in the Kellogg's in the fucking ground. Um so let's see. Fast travel's current all right. Fast travel's unavailable because uh I think as long as the Pridwin is running around, uh you can't do fast travel. But let's uh Alright, so we got Don't leave anything behind that might be Okay, now I can be a little can grab a couple of things here okay so now i think now before i wrap up stream i think now well that's a good question because we are we are closing in on the three hour mark but you know what let's let's cruise north to sanctuary and this is a good time to go dumpster diving Okay, we already did. <laughs> All right, let me try that again. This is a good time to uh, go through. Yep, grab that flip lighter and rework our uh, our outfit. Because now we've got the science. We can uh, do a little bit of ballistic weave. We can start working on our new look. Gotcha. Of course, you can't take two steps in the Commonwealth without something trying to fuck up your day. You mean that's it? What do you got? Oh, got a powered one. Cool. Since we're here, didn't realize I'd even raise these. Let's raise these. Bend satellites. And the cool part is if you have a radio beacon nearby these and you raise it, the range of your own settlement radio beacons will actually increase and uh, can help uh, speed up the growth of your settlements that way. Pretty neat. I don't know why the frag mine is here. That's the refrigerator. Nothing crazy. Okay. Probably just the proximity of the federal ration stockpile. Yeah, 
Yeah, those are Mire Lurks. If I go too close to that, a Mire Lurk is going to spawn. But yes, I will take the Blood Leaf. Blood Leaf is off. God damn it. You know how to show a girl a good time. Bastard mutant crabs. We're just grabbing Blood Leaf. Piece of shit. Okay, it looks like everything else there is still dead. Excellent. We'll take some Hub Flower while we're at it. Run up here. We do a little bit of bookkeeping and outfit upgrading. I figured I would sp I would wait till now to do the outfit upgrading because what I'll probably do is also tinker with the hair. Although who knows? Maybe I'll I'll probably still deal with the hair off stream just because that ends up taking me absolutely fucking forever. Whoa. Okay. Where is it? Douchebag. Look, asshole. Do you have any idea what I just dealt with? Stupid raiders. <laughs> you guys have nothing compared to Kellogg. Uh, I don't even know where that guy's body went. Oh, it fell down the hill. Give me 308 ammo. Sure. <laughs> okay, while we're here, let's tidy up. Let's actually do a little bookkeeping here, too, while we're at it. We have a settlement beacon. Let's see what's going on here. Oh. All right. Well, we need to connect somebody here to our supply line. Perfect. Oh, actually, what's the closest? Yeah, you know what? We'll do Abernathy Farm. Perfect. Guess who's going to Abernathy Farm? Doo -doo -doo. Perfect. Ha ha ha! Excellent! Beds. Uh, yeah. We'll just do... We'll just do this right now. That's fine. Oh, you're gonna want to talk to me? really don't want to talk to you right now. That's fine. This will do. This will do. Don't talk to me right now. Okay. Resources. Let's go with food. Let's see. We got 24 corn. 28. That's Commonwealth justice for you. Okay. Let's take a look. We got 24 corn, 28 mute fruit. How many potatoes? Okay, we got plenty of potatoes. Let's do corn. You will be a corn factory. Corn. Okay, fine. You motherfuckers. Go away. <laughs> Now you have plenty of food. Let's go over here. Power. Okay, we've built that. Excellent. So now we can go over resources. Water. Let's do a water pump. Connect that. Excellent. We got enough of that. Perfect. Now this settlement has more than enough water and food for everybody. Turrets. We could build a shit ton of turrets. <laughs> oh my god, the happiness was dangerously low. I was about to lose... Uh, so if your happiness is too low, you can actually lose control of the settlement. That would be uh, obviously terrible. We didn't go through all this trouble just to lose the fucking settlement. Speaking of like, oh, so lame. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, there it is. I've 
real chairs. That'll do. Okay, so there's there are these people. There you are. You're unattended. Come here, you. Yeah. You're unattended, too. Come here. You're gonna man this artillery piece. And now, we can bombard shit from here. Cool. Very cool. Alright, that's all I needed. Thank you. Sweet. Save now that we've worked on all that. Hey, Darkstar! How are you, my friend? How was, uh... I'm gonna guess Shining Force 3? Let's, uh, let's take a look here. Do a shout out here. Actually, I probably should have done shout outs much earlier than this. ZH Darkstar. Yep, Shining Force 3. How is how is that continuing to go while I'm at it? Let's get everybody that I know is here. Damn it. Spelled it wrong. <laughs> Hit a wall of grinding needed. Oh, isn't that the worst? <laughs> oh, man. Let's try that again. There we go. But I, I think I got the right... I think I spelled it correctly this time. <laughs> So yeah, we've, uh, we have, uh, at least avenged our dead husband, uh, but we're still looking for our son. We did manage to die again, so that part kind of sucked. But it wasn't to a super mutant this time, so that was nice. No funny business. I won't be any trouble. Better not be. Stash takes care of a lot of people, including me. We'd be on you like rads on ghouls. Ah, uh, gotcha. Kids off here since I realized how I could stop the YouTube-only portion of Restream. Ah, yes. In you know, one of these days, I gotta get re fiddle with Restream. Excuse me. You look like you could use a little pick-me-up. Am I right? Let's see what you got. Exactly Let's... what you need. We're just gonna sell her some stuff here. <laughs> Let's see, let's, uh, probably Radex, yep. There we go. I like money. Here you go. <laughs> She's more than happy to buy Radex. Radex technically counts as chems. So at this point, I'm mostly in the process of uh, unwinding here. My plan is to uh, head back to Sanctuary and um, work on my outfit and maybe go to Diamond City and finally get myself a haircut. So now I'm just dealing with some, you know, logistics involved. And the convenient part about being in Diamond City is that will put us in correct position to then talk to Nick Valentine and he's gonna send us to Good Neighbor for the rest of the actual plot. We did a, we did a lot of plot today. We rescued Nick Valentine. We um, got the key to Kellogg's house and then, um, managed to get uh, dog meat to lead us all the way to Fort Hagen and we put a bullet in Kellogg. The only lame part is we put the bullet. Oh, look at that. There's Piper heading back to, uh, <laughs> there's Piper heading back to Sanctuary. <laughs> Piper had to go to uh, Diamond City to give um, Mayor McDonough a bunch of, uh, give, uh, basically grill him a little bit. I do have to admit, I think Piper is probably my favorite companion. So once we max out all the companions, we'll probably be, um, <laughs> emphasis on sweet ass, right? <laughs> all the companions take their sweet ass time. But Piper is looking good, doesn't she? What'd you say to me? <laughs> Man, raiders love to talk shit. <laughs> I'm glad I also got the uh, modded outfit for her. It's uh, it is pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of the vanilla trench coat. Even if you go with another trench coat, a modded one 
that um, a little more high definition, at least for me, is is uh, is really really worthwhile. Yeah, right. Talk shit, get head split. Yeah, there's still a little bit of a of of um, hesitation as we go from cells, but it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. The the mod that was causing that was uh, you and what army, which was neat, but it was it was just not worth the constant constant hiccuping and not just hiccuping like that but truly like sitting there like okay game like are we ever going like it there's a little bit of heck up here but again it's it's manageable and this is probably the worst spot in that as far as my experience goes we could do some settlement building too here oh started from home yep we're level 30 now <laughs> so now we could go to far harbor ah and now the brotherhood is here so vertebrates will be Although that was an interesting way for it. To, I guess we were at the very far edge of its draw distance. <laughs> that was pretty funny. All right, hey, dog meat. No, dog meat. Dog hey. meat. Come here. Give me your shit, dog meat. Okay, actually, we don't need your fat man. Yeah, we're, we're going to have all this shit. Oh, boy. Let's grab all of this stuff. Correct. No level cap in Fallout 4. Although the ad started, you may not have caught that. But I think I think you're I think you subscribed to me, uh, so you probably heard that. But um, hey Kate, hey. But I'll say it again after the ad, just for the benefit of everybody else. Time to trade a few things. Yep, you got it, Kate. And now we grab everything here. Oh my God, it takes forever to grab everything. <laughs> but yeah, it is. I love the fact that uh, in Fallout 4 there is no level cap. So you just, you could just keep leveling up as you go. Uh, you don't have to really worry about that, but it also is much less restrictive as far as um, builds go because everything is solved with XP. New Vegas, it's 30, but with all the DLC, it's 50. Yeah, for, for this, they didn't bother. Sanctuary will be a vibrant community. I've seen it. So the only reason... Paul Murphy. Ready for the site again, <coughs> kid? <coughs> I usually like mixing Psycho in with something else, but I'll need it straight this time. So, with Mama Murphy, when she asks for Psycho, if you give her Psycho, it kills her. A hundred percent of the time. So, this is actually a great time to go over this part. Psycho? Is that safe? <laughs> no. <coughs> Don't worry. <coughs> Oh, Mama Murphy can handle a little pre-war military-grade combat, Stim. True, true. It doesn't have as many non level up acquired perks as the other games. That's absolutely true. And uh, I'll get to uh, I'll get to the R take all why I don't do that in a second. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again, kid. Listen to me. I'm old. Even older than you'd think. If the chems are gonna kill me, then I say I've had a good run. We'd have never made it this far without the sight. I need it. You need it. It's part of who I am. The sight isn't worth killing yourself over, Mama Murphy. It doesn't have to define what you are or what you can give. All right, kid. You got me. If me hanging around for a little longer is worth that much to you, then I'll go clean. No more chems. No more sight. And we get XP for that. Um, so the... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, I see the Brotherhood's vertebrates are already in mid-game form. What the fuck shot the vertebrate down? Wait. You know what? This might not be a Brotherhood vertebrate. Because there are two vertebrates up there. And that vertebrate isn't shooting at us. This might be a gunner vertebrate. And the Brotherhood ver vertebrate may have shot it down. Because I don't see a single Brotherhood survivor in this whole thing. Let's go take a look. Let's look around. Nope. Brotherhood. They got... They totally got shot down. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. I'll take Brotherhood fatigues here. 
I'll take that. Yep, I'll take the bomber jacket. Those could be useful later. Um, okay, so that just happened. <laughs> vertebrate on vertebrate action. It can, that can happen, absolutely. Um, all right, so let's take a quick look here. Um, so here's why I don't just take all. Heads up. Sure. So let's trade off. So if I take all, it's going... Well, actually, I do want to take these anyway. Um, and you know what? I'll take the military for... Okay, fine. I will take all these. But it would take literally everything. It would also include... Hey, we got a new raid. <laughs> Randcast, how are you? <laughs> Bring in the raid. Hey, Foxy, how are you? Red Fox the Box. I haven't seen you in a minute. How are things going? <laughs> well, that was like what? Uh, two, we're just getting raid uh, raid chained here. This is awesome. <laughs> how is everybody? Uh, so greetings, Randcast. For anybody that might not know, my name is Resplendent Seraph. I'm playing some Fallout 4 tonight. I play a bunch of RPGs. I'm a pseudo variety streamer. Uh, but mostly play a bunch of uh, bunch of uh, RPGs. I am doing well. We've uh, we actually did a lot of the plot today. It's amazing. We're, we're doing a Fallout game and we're actually doing the plot. What is this madness? <laughs> Thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate you doing the shout out for me. Um, and so you guys were playing Bramble the Mountain King. <laughs> I am not familiar with Bramble the Mountain King, but uh, what? Tell, feel free to tell me about it. How was how was uh, how was Bramble the Mountain King? Uh, make it time for Twitch and games now. Nice. Excellent. Up, oh, my feline co-host has returned and she's going to sit down on my foot and keep it warm. And that also means I, I can't move. I'm, I'm stuck here. <laughs> send, send cookies and ice cream. <laughs> oh man. How are you guys doing? I'm, I'm mostly just answering, uh, answering some questions here, but yeah. Uh, so Phoenix Nate, to answer your question, the reason I don't usually take all is because it will take everything off of them, whether or not I want it or not. Even if, even if you're in junk, it will take the other categories as well. And so that's, uh, that's unhelpful, especially when I'm using them to store things long term, um, things that I want to then come back to a little bit later. Uh, Bramble was a dark game dressed up as a kid's game. Oh, oh yeah. Those are fun. <laughs> kind of like uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day once upon a time. That game was awesome, by the way, for anybody who's never played it. Although it is very, very mature. Oh my goodness. Hi. Is there something you need? Nope. No. Nothing. Just making okay. sure you have nothing for me. Cool. That's exactly what I wanted to hear, my friend. <laughs> so let's stash uh, anything in here that we might need. Uh, let's stash the faded. Man, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't need the lab coat just yet. We could put that in there. We're going to give those, I think, to dog meat. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll store these in here for now. Uh, military fatigues because we can, we can craft Minutemen uh, armor with that. Uh, so yeah, Conker's, Con yeah, Conker's was great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the gigantic Golgothan that would sing opera about, uh, <laughs> the toilet humor operatic monster. Oh my goodness. So many legendary things about it. Oh, and death who hates cats because they, can they have so many lives. I mean, <laughs> there are so many gags in that that are just amazing. Yes. The great almighty poo. <laughs> Oh my goodness. There's just, there's amazing stuff with that. Uh, no, I did not want to put that in here. I want to keep the covert sweater vest. Uh, all right. So let's, let's go over here. Let's go back to my house and, uh, hell, we might even do some settlement building here while we're at it. Although let's see, let's see how really into the weeds we want to get. We can't put the silver shroud hat because that's a quest item. We can't deal with that at the moment, but we can certainly toss in some other things. And, okay, I think that's it for all of those. These we're probably going to scrap. Let's cruise over here and let's stash some of these weapons that we are going to keep, but we may not actually want to keep. Okay, laser rifle, we put that in there. Yeah, we'll put that fat man in there. Uh, goodness gracious, we've got grenades galore. We don't need that many of those, but you know what? We'll stash that in the, in the, we'll stash that in the castle when we get there. <laughs> so let's go to the weapons workbench. We don't really need a freezing gamma gun. So let's liquidate that. We'll break that down too. We don't need that, but that gives us... We have a mod that allows us to 
break down a whole bunch of legendary items and then craft other ones. So that's going to be pretty nice. So let's work on our... Let's work on our outfit here. Uh, yeah, that's kind of crap. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need powered. Don't need that. Let's work off that. Sprinter is nice, and the synth uh, items are actually really nice. So let's go in here, and let's... Yes. Let's improve that. We're going to keep this one. We still need another... One for that, but you know what? We'll do the lighter build for now. Codsworth loved that good. We like that Codsworth liked it. So let's let's equip that. Now we're gonna tinker here. We're gonna tinker. Alright, so we just replaced something. What did we just replace? Poisoned. Okay, that gives us poison resistance. I'm not gonna worry about the combat armor left leg for now then. Maybe what I'll do is I'll give that to somebody else. I think we can just go through here. Is there anything else that we want to necessarily tinker with? Okay, so for this, what we will do though, is we're gonna make this invisible. We're gonna start working on our, on our look here. That's the cool part is we can turn these items invisible and then we can, whoops, nope, invisible. And this will look, this will look really cool. Uh, my buddy Rancat is having trouble with his Twitch, so he can't say anything right now. Ah, but wanted to say, what's up? Good to see and meet you. And that the game took about five hours to finish, and I brought the raid. Nice. It's always nice when you finish a game. Uh, yeah, Twitch just doing Twitch things. <laughs> we're, we're all having tr trouble with Twitch all the time. It's, uh, it's a great platform, but yeah, we sort of laugh at, oh, dog meat playing here a little bit. That's awesome. Uh, let's, yeah, let's do, let's do a lighter build too while we're at it. Actually, let's do that with this too. Let's do the lighter build, yes. Let's reduce the weight. And um, we're gonna do the same thing here. Let's, let's do the lighter build. Polished, that's fine. Invisible, let's make that invisible. Minutemen outfit, we're gonna undo the sharp on that because we are going to be doing sharp on something else we're gonna keep that for a minute and now here paint invisible paint that's beautiful lighter build okay everything should be good let's take a quick look let's do a quick assessment i don't see any armor now uh feel like that's something on her right arm let's check the right arm oh of course it's gonna rain yay let's check the right arm mm, invisible paint really should be okay it must be part of the outfit cool Okay, let's let's go have fun with this now. Cruise over here. How we might have even leveled up Codsworth. We should probably talk to Codsworth and see if he'll he'll talk to us. But yeah, likewise, Rankast, thank you for the raid. Always nice to meet new new people. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff going on here. And I'm looking for yes. So we're looking for the militia woman outfit. We're gonna go with that. Don't need the hat. I mm, don't know if we need the gloves. I think we'll leave the gloves alone. But I'm looking for... Yep. And we're looking for the duster, I think. Yep. That's probably what we want. Okay, so let's go back over to the armor set now. So obviously we're dealing with modded content. But, um... So what I'm going for here is a new uh, general's outfit. But one that looks a little better than the vanilla but should be at least reasonably lore friendly. And if I'm doing this right, uh, we'll actually, okay, so let's make sure, uh, the belt should be fine. Shirt, scarf option, coat and boots. I think we want, I think I want boots and pants. <laughs> think that's what I'm looking for here because we don't necessarily need the coat but we could go with coat boots and pants but I think we're just going to go with that and then yep the duster and then for that we go in here and I think what we want no we don't want that I don't think we want that I think we want yep we want blue I think this is going to be what I'm looking for here. 
assuming I do this right, and hopefully, hopefully this doesn't end up being not safe for work. <laughs> uh, oh, that's awkward. Um, <clears throat> can we not do that yet? Thank you. Okay. Why do I not have a good feeling about that? Okay. That's a good sign. Okay, good. <laughs> good, good. Okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. All right, perfect. And so that ends up... All right, that, that looks pretty good. That definitely looks pretty good. Okay, excellent. Yeah, right? That's what I was going for. I mean, I was really trying to avoid what would really be... Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, right? Basic techno beat boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. And boots. <laughs> the system is down, right? <laughs> so now we can go in here. Let's definitely go into the Manhunter Duster. All right, so now we go in here. Now that we've got some better... Okay, we've got science, and we've got that. Ballistic weave. Uh, so okay, okay, I need to bring science three and armor three, so I'll have a little while before we get that. But now we're good on this. Hybrid Weave Mark III. Okay, so we can do the Hybrid Weave Mark III now. And we will actually have some decent armor with this. Cool. There we go. Alright. So, Legendary Mod Slot. We're going to put... Um, sharp on that. Excellent. That is a beautiful thing. So, now we have our Legendary. And, yeah, we'll do a Treated Lining just to give ourselves a little extra protection. And now we do the same with the Militia Woman outfit. Let's go in here, and let's do a second layer of weave. Yep, hybrid weave mark three. There we go, okay. Treated lining, perfect. Good deal, and uh, belt option. Let's see, let's take a look. Uh, I think that's what I want, but yep. Do you want a imaginary slot? All right, so let's see. What uh, what do we have here that we can actually put on this? All right, we got a Vats Enhanced that we took off of something. We'll take Vats Enhanced. That certainly works. All right. We don't need to do any of the other things. But all right, we're looking good here. Now we've got a nice, cool, very lore-friendly outfit. Let's... What time is it in game? Yeah, we still have plenty of time here. Now let's see what's going. Let's take a let's take a look. All right, so we have far from home. We're not doing that. Let's uh, we could discuss our findings with Nick, and that resumes the plot. We still need to find Agent Blackbird. We we need to do all this shit. Oh right, you know what? This is actually a good time to start heading east. Let's head to the slog. Let's run across the, uh, actually, you know what, let's just eat. We've got tons of food here. Oh my god, we got more, I've got more food than I know what to do with here. Put the death claw steak in there. there we go. Actually, let's go in here. Yeah, we don't need iguana bits, we don't need the squirrel bits, don't need this, uh, don't need all that Brahmin meat, the death claw meat. Oh my goodness, Seraph, why was I picking up all this stuff? What am I doing? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll... Yeah, we don't need all of that. Jeez. I'm collecting stuff like it's going out of style here. Okay, what else do I have that I don't necessarily need to keep hold of at the moment? You know what? We'll put that Minutemen outfit in there. We'll keep the Militia hat. Oh, yeah, we'll store all junk. Beautiful. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Or these poor brother. I can't believe we just, they just showed up and the vertebrate goes right down in the middle of my settlement. You know, I could actually build something here real quick before we go. Do you guys have any interest in watching me build any of these things? Or do you want to see me do one quest before we, uh, before we wrap up stream? What would be, what would be your preference? You want the Bob Ross Fallout 4 experience or you want to watch me, uh, take out some raiders? We got a little bit. We can... We can make that determination while I'm on my way. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. 
I'm going to guess that means raiders. <laughs> so we're just going to run across the Commonwealth here. We'll probably encounter at least a few hostile things on our way because that's how it goes. There we go. Coat's looking badass. Grab some carrot flour. Hello, cat. I know, cat. I love you, too. Oh, you're going to move. Oh, she finally moved. I can move my foot. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi. She stepped on my foot, and apparently Seraph needs to um, trim her nails. <laughs> that was a little bit of a nice little poke. But yes, I'm awake. So let's cruise over here. Let's do, let's do out of the fire, because out of that, we're going to get a really amazing uh, melee weapon. It's not as good as the one weapon we were talking about, Ghosty, but it's, it, it is really fun. There's our sentry bot we reactivated. And it, ow! Okay, hi, cat. She's nibbling at my foot. What do you want? No, no, no. My leg is not a toy. Hi. Do you want a pet? You want a... Ow! Ow! Okay, don't bite me. Ow! Don't bite my hand. Ow! <laughs> Damn it, cat. What do you want? I love you. <laughs> I know. I know. I love you too, cat. I know. I know. <laughs> I know what she wants. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. This fucking cat, man. <laughs> She's such a character. Nice job, dog meat. Good boy. Right. Oops. Get turned around here. Let's go up this way. Uh, hi, cat. Okay. Ow! 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 Okay. Okay. Hi. I love you, cat. What do you want? Hi. You want some of my water? My water's up on the desk. Hi, baby girl. You want a pet? Yeah, you want a pet? She wants a pet. <sighs> Hi, Cleo. I am... <laughs> so when I say my co-host, Cleo, my, my, my feline co-host, I really do mean that because when she shows up, she really does have a tendency to kind of take over things. <laughs> she loves to jump up, drink out of my water, just generally be a brat. Hi. Yes, I know who's a good girl. Who's a good girl? You want to come up and say hi to everybody? Instead of biting my feet like a little shit. <laughs> Although I know what it is. I also know what's going on. It's also getting to a time where she uh, she wants to go to bed and watch TV. She is such a creature of habit. Um, hi, Cleo. Are you are you telling me that I should that I should uh, that I should wrap up here? Is that what you're telling me? I was gonna go do the do the slog, but no. No, we're going to have to do this. Okay. <laughs> it looks like the cat has spoken. Plus, it would take us a little while to get across the Commonwealth uh, anyway. Uh, I, my, my cat may have may have other ideas. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you need your treat and it's, it's, it's time for, for TV in bed, cat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's save and let's, let's raid forward here. Let's save. Let me, uh, let me. Let me quit because that's not going to be. Oh, oh, you just wanted a quick pet. Can I, can I, oh, I could, pl I can keep playing. Okay. Let's keep, pl uh, but you know what? It's, it is 1115. Let's, let's do this. Let's raid. Let's see who's on. Let's save. Let us cool it. We did at least do that. What I will try to do for next stream is I will try to finagle the hairstyle. That way I'm not kind of just goofing around in that for like an entire hour before we get on with that. Uh, but in the meantime, who is on? Let's take a quick look. Let's take a gander. Um, no, no, Firefox. I do not want to open you every time I open my computer. Thanks. Ah, okay. I see. Okay. I, I, I you know what? Let's, let's raid Cobra. What's she doing? Uh, she's playing Alundra. Oh, you know what? She might be approaching the end of Alundra. So yeah, let's, I think let's do that. Let's, let's raid. Let's raid Cobra and let's see how she's doing. Let's do this. Uh, but yes, channel update. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Red Fox and Box. Thank you so much for uh, the raid. I really appreciate it for all of the raids. Dark Star, uh, you guys are all awesome. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for uh, spending your evening with me. I had a great time, as always. Things are always cool. Um, I plan to stream again Thursday night. It's probably going to be an East Memories of Celsetta night. I'm kind of feeling that, but um, I usually do kind of play it by ear to the day and see kind of just what I'm feeling. Um, 
so I might not know until then what I'm actually playing. But in the meantime, until then, I hope everybody has a great rest of your week, and I will see you all approximately later. And Cleo says, <laughs> Cleo says farewell to everyone. <laughs> everybody, I, uh, I appreciate it. All of you, take it easy, and have a good night. I will see you approximately later. <laughs>